So we're gonna end the series here on the same exact date as this video is uploaded, so that'd be kind of cool. And the British did just get out of all of those three big wars. And, you know, they didn't lose that much. Uh, yeah, Wales was released and Ireland was also released. They did lose these uh, this, this colony here. Actually, no, they didn't. The British West Indies are still there. However, I know that they did lose their control over uh, the Philippines that they took, they've taken away from the USA. They still have a little bit of control over it. Uh, in the southern island here. Uh, I don't believe there are any major wars going on at the moment here on June 20th, 2016. Uh, Chin at war with China. And we've got the Netherlands, Brazil, and Chile. Uh, nothing really ended up happening at all in South America. I mean, it was going to. We would have had to progress the campaign by quite a bit for it to have happened, but um, still kind of interesting. Uh, if anybody's wondering for the top picks, for the people that picked right, and this shouldn't be surprising because it's way harder to pick right in EU4. Uh, this is a very difficult game to pick right because we have to kind of set up some hard qualifications, you know, how, who's going to be the best out of each continent instead of just one who's going to be the best, because that's just too easy. Uh, we've got Now Just Gaming, the only one picking right, with, uh, as I said in the intro, in, the, in part one of this series, Russia, we're, we're going to count for Asia, that way we can have Europe, you know, do its own little battle, and that'd be more entertaining to see uh, who, who wins in, 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 in Asia, I'm sorry, in, in Europe. Because I knew, I knew it was going to be that interesting in Asia. Uh, so Russia won Asia. That's what we're saying. We've got Germany winning Europe. Um, we've got Brazil winning South America. Obviously, the USA winning North America. We didn't do Australia because Australia was always obviously going to be okay. And in Africa, uh, it's got to be with the only independent colony here. The only independent, well, I think they might be the only one. I mean, technically, they're not the only one, but they're the strongest in terms of development in, uh, in Africa at the moment. I can't, I couldn't, it was too confusing because there's too many people that thought it was very, conf it was, it was tough to say. I know that I've always done independent nations, so I figured I'd do that. It seemed like most people in the comment section were saying independent nations, um, in video one, because that's what, that's just how I usually do things is, is say, you know, most powerful nation that's independent, not necessarily the European that might have a colony over here. Uh, but yeah, either way, I mean, even if I didn't do it that way, nobody picked right. So that's why at least at least I did it this way, because I did check both to see if anybody would have picked right either way. Uh, we just got to have um, the only person that picked right was now just gaming at the moment. Let's just do one more check over the development. One more check over the development screen. How are we looking? There we go. Boom. Development. So the USA ended up number one with about 300 more development than Russia. Uh, Germany at three with two, 2,151. Uh, wow, the British really falling quite far below after those huge coalition wars. Uh, France getting a lot of points from that. Japan getting a nice, nice sixth place uh, slot, passing up Canada at the last second. Italy, who would have ended up dominating, I think, would have really gotten higher on this list if they took over Romania, Ukraine, maybe if the uh, the Central European Alliance ended up breaking apart, which I think it was on the verge of doing at any moment. Uh, any moment, they, I think Italy would have been uh, a pretty big power there in southern Europe. Uh, then we've got the Netherlands, Mexico, Spain, Australia, who didn't do too much. But uh, but yeah, so that will be our campaign. Uh, I'm not sure when we'll return to an EU4 AI only now that Hearts of Iron 4 is here. But uh, depending on what you guys think in the comment section below, let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see uh, another, another one. Or just leave me suggestions for an EU4 AI only uh, if you guys have any. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to stop right there. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. Had a fun time doing it. Uh, very different. Obviously, I won't come back with random provinces, uh, random development provinces, even though I did think it really helps making the game different from the World War II series to the World War I series, this one. Uh, but yeah, I'll try not to do that next time. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.